It's my feel good breakfast show. <laughs> Call us on your cell phone. Call and Mary Hotline Bling. That can only mean one thing. Ting, ting, ting. This is your Field of Breakfast show. Thank you so much for joining us in our studio. Our chefs making sure that we have our chefs on speed dial. We're talking about myths this morning, and you gave us a call on 0839133728. to Abigail, Zola, and Neil. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. So we've had a few calls come through. Joan wants to know how does one cook crayfish tails? Mm, I assume way. that they are cook frozen. Them. So let's let's think frozen, and then let's think assume frozen. fresh as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, never cook them from frozen. Always mm. cook them from defrosted. If they are frozen, then just defrost them in your fridge overnight. Don't uh, you know, leave them out for too long. Uh, then in their shell, yet again, just a really nice pot of boiling salted water. You can get some aromatics in there, like an onion, some star anise, maybe a little bit of lemon. Uh, and then just pop them in. I would do three minutes, and then they, they'll start to sort of gently curl up. And then get a tray, put some ice on the tray, and then put them onto the ice, and then put them into your fridge. Don't run water over them, because then you wash away all the flavor. Mm, mm. Good tip. I'm glad yeah. you said that. And if you want to keep them straight, put a... Yeah, Skewer put a, or a them. teaspoon. Or a teaspoon, really? <laughs> oh, wow. Put a That's teaspoon a around the back, yeah, and then yeah, it stays flat. Yeah, and then it flat. keeps the tail yeah, cool. straight. And if you don't want to sort of poach them, you can, I just cut them in half and put yeah. them in my griddle pan or on the bra with some yeah. garlic butter. How long does it take on the bra? Oh, same. Also, yeah, five minutes? Yeah, about four and a half, yeah. five minutes. Or pop okay. under a hot grill So it's quite well. quick, hey? Yeah. Very quick. Don't have to cook yeah, it till don't it's, over. it's like prawns, do you know what I mean? It's like a very big prawn, so don't overcook it. Let's just go Speaking of which... Oh, wait, we're going to go to our phone lines quickly. Okay, 0839133728. We're going to Secunda. Good morning. You're live on our show. Is it Dave? Good morning. Hey, Dave. Good morning. Hello. It's Dave here. Hello, Dave. Can you hear me? Yes, Dave, yeah. we can hear you. Go ahead. What's your question or comments? I just want to know. I try both ways when I uh, fry fish. Mm. Uh, it's normally I egg fish or something, and I put dow on. Uh, as soon as I turn it over from the frying pan, mm. the dough uh, fall off. Okay. I, okay. I tried it with frozen fish, and uh, then I defrost the fish the other time, and also try, but it's all the same effect. Okay. I, Okay. Thank you, Dave, okay. for your question. Very good question. So he's that frying fish. He's, tr he's tried a few options. Yeah. It all falls off. What, what yeah. to do? So basically, it's probably because, if, especially if it's frozen fish, he's not da uh, sort of drying it, patting it dry enough. Mm. And then also to help the batter stick to the fish, flour the fish first. Yeah. So mm. dry the fish in so with some kitchen paper, then dip it into seasoned flour, then into your batter, and then you'll probably yeah. find it will... All stay intact and make sure the fat or the oil, whatever you're cooking it in, is hot, hot enough. enough. Hot yeah. enough. Okay. Yeah. So, so a hot oil. Yeah. Okay, Dave. I hope you got that answer. This is incredible. Hey, <laughs> Abigail, fun. Donnelly, <laughs> and uh, Neil, Anthony, and Zola. Oh, thank you so much for joining Pleasure. us this morning for our culinary hotline. Of course, you need to write this number down: 0839133728. Also online, we are going to be talking about the most interesting vegetables you've ever seen. That's for next week. So stay tuned to your feel good breakfast show, and you can get all those tips, things, and advice right here. Well, uh, we're going to go to the rest of the team. Bye, Asala. Bye, Asala.